Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a little something special. Dealing with the miracles of Christmas. And I want you to hear just how important we are to God. Listen to this. In time for Christmas, I was sitting at home minding my own business when my best friend came over. Normally, I would have been happy to see her, but she was seething. She was mad at the world and mad at God. I thought I would have felt the same way had I been in her place. I understood her reaction to her predicament because of circumstances that were out of her control. She and her daughters were forced to move into a hotel temporarily. Because of greed, the hotel manager had just informed her that she and her daughters had to go two days before Christmas. The hotels along the parade route in the city of downtown Pasadena usually double or triple their prices for the holidays to accommodate the higher paying New Year's crowd. As a result, the poor had to hit the door. The almighty dollar had the last say for that day. My following poem says it all the way I see it and from here it looks so ugly, it stinks. Baby, get back. For those who are financially strapped, their word for you is baby, get back. Though you're down on your luck and out in the cold, they say, that tired song is really getting old. I'm smelling some money that I plan to make mine. Not trying to be funny, but <laughs> you vacate the line. The wealthy just love coming out here to play while you still have nothing and nowhere to stay. Fret not. God has been with you right from the start. He'll always have someone near with a good, caring heart. When life hurts so much you don't know what to do, God will make a way for help to make its way to you. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that encouraging? That's from my book, That Still Blows My Mind. And that is a true story. You know what happened afterwards? I'm gonna really condense the story so you get to hear a Christmas miracle. When she was out in the cold, uh, God worked a miracle, I prayed for her. She turned around, came back to the house, blowing the horn, raising all kind of ruckus the next day. I'm wondering who the nut is outside blowing the horn. It's her. I go out to hear what she's gotta say, and she's hollering out her window, Pat! Guess what? I got a place for me and my daughters to stay. I'll tell you the details in a little bit. She called me later to tell me a lady had rented her a place when she had just told the woman, I won't be able to pay you for two months, but I am definitely getting a check. The woman trusted her and let her and her daughter stay there for two months she was able to pay the lady in full. Is that a Christmas miracle or what? Besides that, the Lord blessed her with a Christmas tree and they were able to celebrate Christmas in time for Christmas. Isn't God good? Yeah, just wanna let you know, God is not a deadbeat dad. He takes care of his babies. You hear me? Amen. Don't you forget that. 
Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful, loving, fulfilling holiday with all your family and friends. And don't forget those who are alone. God bless you.